What is good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be discussing some things regarding the AEW action figures that we saw at New York Toy Fair this past weekend, I should say, on Saturday morning. You know, we got a bunch of epic reveals by Ringside Collectibles where you can use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% over there. I always say percent. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me, but let's just run with it. But uh, today we're going to cover all things, guys. We're going to answer some important questions regarding the AEW figures. You know, Series 1, Series 2, when they're set to release. You know, how often are we going to get AEW figures? What's the price point? Are they in scale with WWE figures? All of this stuff that we want to know about the AEW line we're gonna find out here today and i do want to give a huge shout out to my boy christian from unstable 1047 here on youtube for helping me out compiling this list of information that we need here and a huge shout out to my boy right there but let's go ahead and dive in guys i don't really know where to start with this but i guess i'll just go ahead and start off with the scaling i think that's the most important thing a lot of people are saying are they in scale with the mattel wwe action figures and i can say without a shadow of a doubt this is what i'm hearing from the community i've seen it on online i've seen it in posts i've seen it even in an interview with Greg Mitchell and Magic Almost, the two directors or designers there over at Wicked Cool Toys and Jazz Wares coming together here. They uh, let, Let's just run the clip. Go ahead and run the clip. Uh, we've seen the figures. We've seen uh, some scale with them, but we haven't really gotten a chance to compare them to maybe some other lines out there. So are these figures, in your opinion, in scale with some of the Mattel figures? Yeah, absolutely. 100% in scale. Yeah. The Mattel scale is a little varying by figure to figure, but we got it pretty much there. That you're you're thinking of uh, thinking about things like height as well and yeah. uh, stuff like that when you're making new molds. They're not only in scale to each other; they're in scale to Mattel's whatever. Yeah, so they're all in scale. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. So you you heard that here, and you know we've been talking about it the past few days. But yeah, there's proof, right? Yeah, there's proof. I don't know if we can show it on this video, but. I do want to give a huge shout out to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com for using this interview right here from their New York Toy Fair footage, this interview right here with Greg Mitchell and Magic. I think it's fantastic. It's freaking awesome that we were able to use this here today. So huge shout out to Ringside Collectibles, guys. Go buy some figures using promo code MDTOYS. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. You just heard it right there. They are apparently in scale. And also, this does come to us from WrestleFig News on Twitter. My boy MG, MBG does run this over there on Twitter, I do believe. Shout out to him for this but he did say that he has heard from some sources and that he has heard from designers that apparently these are in scale they're in full scale with wwe figures now i am a little bit questionable about the interview right there it did kind of seem like i don't know i don't know if in scale ne necessarily means you know perfect scale you know what i'm saying because jack's figures i guess to some extent you know some of the jack's figures were in scale with mattel figures but were they 100 percent in scale do they look a little bit odd are they a little bit too tall whatever the case we all we honestly will not know you know we have heard multiple sources say that they are in scale and i think that is very important also one thing to note is that magic actually used to work at mattel he said later in the interview that he did work at mattel sure magic what do you think for you uh i hate to copy his answer but they're i mean it's such a good opportunity for all of them because like a lot of these people have never had figures so it's been a real like dream of mine to like do their first figures so it's been like really incredible but i will well, i would say an answer just to not sound so canned but I used to see Pentagon and Phoenix all the time wrestling in the indies. So I would watch them when I was like working at Mattel and think like those would be amazing figures. I hope Mattel signs them. I hope WWE signs them. So to actually get to make them now, it's like a literal dream. I've had that thought, like, I wish I could make this figure. And that he was very excited to work on these figures and, you know, Kenny Omega figures and Young Bucks and guys like that, that, you know, nobody's really had an opportunity to make before in figure form. And I think he really wanted to bring that to, you know, this line and wrestling figures, you know, the community. I really think that he really wants to put it in there. So I really think these are going to be in scale. And hopefully that is true regarding, you know, all this information we've gotten in the interviews and the, in the posts and stuff like that and all the different reference points that we have. We still have not seen a side-by-side -side image, which I think is going to be the ultimate conclusion test for this. You know, if AEW figures and WWE Mattel figures are exactly the same um, as far as scaling-wise, you know, they use different parts, so they'll probably be a little bit off, but uh, we have heard from Jazzwares and Wicked Cool Toys designers that they're supposed to be in scale and that they are 100% in scale, so I guess we'll just have to see until we get them side-by-side, -side. but it does look like we can put that to rest, at least for the time being, until we get them in hand or see them in an image side by side.
Now, the next thing we're going to be discussing, guys, is talking about the next few series. So, we have Series 1 and 2 that were shown off at New York Toy Fair 2020, and he did say that he wanted to have three or four waves on shelves before 2021. So, between now and New Year's 2021, he did say he wanted to see AEW Action Figures Unrivaled Collection Series 1 through 4 on the shelves, and uh, he did say, earlier in the interview, he said, you know, I, he said something about, we've done three waves, or doing three waves, or something like that. He said, we've been working on three waves since, you know, last July or whatever he said. And so that makes me think that they already have wave three planned and completely created, or not created, but they have it completely planned out or at least designed, I would think. they all, I guess it just wasn't ready just yet. And later on in the interview, Luchasaurus came on and he talked about, you know, how his figure was going to take a little bit. So I'm thinking that Jungle Boy and Luchasaurus will be a part of Series 3. That's just, you know, me using context clues and kind of putting some information together. But he did say that uh, he wants three or four waves on shelves before 2021, which actually leads me into my next thing, which is going to be how often are we going to be getting these figures, and he said that he's, he expects or wants waves, AEW Unrivaled waves, every eight weeks, so that's going to be every eight weeks we get a new wave out or announced or whatever, and I think that's pretty awesome. I think that it does kind of correlate with Mattel's WWE Elite Series. I know sometimes we get figures just wave after wave, and they kind of hit, 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 but it does seem like uh, that's what he expects. He said that that Series 1, this is as far as release dates go, he said that Series 1 should be on shelves August 1st, 2020, and that is awesome. So kicking off at the end of the summer there, or nearing the end of the summer, AEW Unrivaled Series 1 should be on shelves August 1st, and then he said Series 2 would probably be around late September to early October. Now this means that uh, if you guys go to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com, and you check their pre-order dates for Unrivaled Series number 1, Series number 2 is not on pre-order just yet, Unrivaled Series number 1 with Cody and Chris Jericho, Brandy, Kenny, and the Bucks is up for pre-order, and it says early July. Now, Ringside Collectibles, I believe they pay a fee to get their figures in earlier than mass retailers like Walmart and, you know, etc. Target, other places like that. They pay an extra fee to, uh, I think, get their things shipped over by boat. It's either uh, it's either or. It's either they, they pay for extra shipping to get it by boat, or they pay for it by plane. I can't remember exactly which one they pay for to get it earlier, whichever transportation, but they do pay to get it earlier, and that is the reason why you see that slight increase in price or whatever have you. You know, you get the figure early, you're paying for the convenience, you're paying for that extra fee it costs to get the figures, you know, uh, earlier produced and inside, you know, the ringside collectibles, you know, warehouse or whatever have you. But the figures are listed on their website for pre-order for $23.99 a piece. And then, of course, you have your Young Bucks, you know, double, you know, whatever the, ca the case of two where you can order them together for a slight, like, two or three dollars off or whatever the case may be. But uh, these are are going to try to get around the $20 price point. They are going to be $20 retail price at Walmart, similar to WWE Elites. I think the price for a WWE Elite was like $17.97 or $19.87 or something like that at Walmart. They're shooting for that same, you know, right there in the same exact price range, so you won't be paying any more for a WWE figure or an AEW figure that you do, so they should be very, very similar in price, so that should be very affordable for you. You know, $20, that's pretty good as far as a brand new retail figure that you grab and also, I, it was ro reported uh, by PW Insider that apparently the AEW figures are going to be available at Walmart, and they have you know get, gotten a deal with Walmart. So these are going to be found at Walmart. I don't know if they're going to be Walmart exclusive per se, but it has been you know I think confirmed that these figures are going to be at Walmart. You're going to be able to get these figures at Walmart. I'm sure they're going to be very close by the WWE figures, and I would I would guarantee you guys that the, the Walmart employees are probably not going to know exactly, you know, the difference between the two, and they're probably going to put them hoes together or right side by side, if I had a guess. So it should be pretty easy to find the AEW figures, because they're probably going to be right there, if not, you know, behind the pegs on some of the WWE action figures. But huge news for the AEW figures, according to PW Insider. They are striking a deal there with Walmart, or they will be available at Walmart for the AEW toys and figures and everything like that. So that's awesome, man. I expect like a mid-hallway sort of display when they finally hit at the end of the summer or near the end of the summer there for AEW Series 1. So I'm hyped for them, man. I cannot freaking wait for them. And hopefully, uh, you know, come San Diego Comic-Con, we're probably going to see even more stuff for AEW, you know, down the line, Series 4, Series 5, and stuff like that. Which brings me to my next news, guys. So getting into it, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen on Instagram or Twitter or whatever that uh, we are getting a ringside exclusive 
exclusive, and I'm not talking about the ringside exclusive ring with the ringside exclusive Kenny Omega figure that we're getting. We're also getting a new ringside exclusive that is going to be revealed on Friday. Now, this is very epic news. I think it's that Chicago event. It's it's all about AEW Revolution coming on Saturday. This is so sick. So they did say in that interview that uh, they had a few clues regarding they are going to be revealing the first ever ringside exclusive AEW action figure to uh, to ringside or whatever. So I don't know. I don't know. I guess they're not counting the Kenny Omega, I guess, because it's, it's lumped in with the ring. This is talking about solely a figure here. And here are some details uh, that, that Greg Mitchell did say in the interview. He said that it's going to blow minds that uh, we're going to think or we're going to think to ourselves we didn't think it could go this direction and it's going to be magical. So that's some of the details that he gave us. That's the only hints really that we got from him. But I'm excited for it. I can't wait to see what it is. I want to say I feel like it's going to be somebody like Orange Cassidy, maybe a Darby Allen, something like that. Possibly even, you know, uh, I don't know why I'm thinking to myself, maybe even a Tony Khan. I don't know why I'm thinking that, but that could possibly be a thing as well. So I guess we're just going to have to see. We've pretty much seen all of the characters that are big full-time, unless it's Pac. Maybe it could be Pac or or, or possibly, um, you know, a different variant. I'm not sure. But I would guess it'd be a brand new character as far as what we've seen so far from AEW and their Unrivaled collection. But I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's going to be Orange Cassidy. I just think that'd be really epic. I think it would fit the theme perfectly there for the the ringside exclusive. So there is some information regarding that. It is going to be up on Friday. So I will reveal it to you guys. We'll put it up. We're going to announce it here and regard some other AEW figure news and possibly some other WWE action figure news regarding that figure that is going to be unveiled on Friday for the ringside exclusive. So that's something to stay tuned for. And then uh, I think I had some more information that I want to get in here. Uh, they also mentioned in the interview that they want to be like Mattel. They want to uh, be highly detailed. They want to include epic accessories, detail-oriented um, they wanted to have more articulation. They wanted to have every character made eventually. They want to get all the characters made. They even mentioned possibly including Jim Ross, Excalibur, guys like that. Possibly even referees like Aubrey or Earl Hebner have come up in conversations. So, you know, anything is possible with the AEW figure line, guys. It seems like uh, Jazzwares and Wicked Cool Toys are very passionate about this project. If you go over to Ringside Collectibles' YouTube channel, you can check out the full interview because I think it's a very... I think you guys should. You know, I plugged a few clips here today. I didn't want to show off the whole thing. But I did want to talk about it here with you guys and include this information. One thing I did want to cover real quick, guys, is that uh, I did want to go through Series 1 and 2 for you and kind of just uh, relay that real quick. So in Unrivaled Collection Series 1, we do have Cody, Brandy, Chris Jericho, Kenny Omega, and the Young Bucks. Again, these are up for pre-order right now on WrestlingFigures.com for $23.99 apiece. You can buy the full wave for a buck thirty-nine. If you use promo code MDTOYS, you can uh, pretty much get free shipping. So uh, if you... You know, you punch in the code, you get all the stuff done. You can get priority shipping for free um, once all the stuff's taken off if you order the full set. So that's pretty cool. And uh, I would really appreciate it. It helps out the channel. And then Series 2 is obviously going to be John Moxley, MJF, Adam Hangman Page, Pentagon, Phoenix, and who was the last one in that wave? I'm such a stupid idiot jackass. Dustin Rhodes, my bad. So there it is. So uh, Series 1 is the one that's up for pre-order now. We are expecting Series 2 to go on pre-order relatively soon. I, I wouldn't imagine it's going to be too, too later, but um, you know, I guess they're just kind of waiting until everything's confirmed. They got everything set up. Um, again, Series 1 is supposed to hit August 1st on shelves, and I don't know exactly where it's going to be located. Obviously, we know Ringside Collectibles is going to hold them, and Walmart's going to hold them, but I think that is all the information that I have right now. I tried to go through all the information. We also have the 1 in 1,000, you know, series, and then we have the 1 in 500, and I think every single set is going to include the 1 in 1,000 or the 1 in 500, you know, each character, so, you know, next wave, maybe they'll have a 1 in 1,000 John Moxley, and then they'll have a 1 in 500 MJF or something like that, so I think two different characters from the series in each series are going to have the 1 in 1,000 and 1 in 500. They did mention something about basics and battle packs, but they didn't say specifically. They talked about they didn't really want to do two packs or battle packs or anything like that unless it called for it, and if it was a special moment or something. So it looks like the Unrivaled Collection is sort of just the starting basis, and then they're going to branch off. So I guess we're just going to have to see how the Unrivaleds do. I imagine they're going to do really, really well, and they're going to sell really quickly in stores because uh, people freaking... There's no point in just mashing up you know, the Walmart with all these basics and battle packs and stuff and uh, doing all that for no reason. I think that the Unrivaled Collection 
is going to be a great starter pack. And I know that high, you know, big collectors, big people that love the wave, I'll buy out both Tuscaloosa and Northport as far as the AEW figures are concerned. So if nobody buys them, I'll buy them and then they'll restock hopefully. So uh, that's all I'm saying about that. So I guess I won't have to worry about my area about figures rotting because everything they put out, I'm probably going to want. So especially if we're coming out with only Unrivaled, if there's no crazy basics that are just rotting on shelves that we've gotten a hundred of, then we shouldn't have any problems. But anyways, guys, I think that's going to do it. I don't think I have anything else today. Later on, we are going to have our Super Showdown review going up, so definitely stay tuned for that. But I think that is all the information I have for you guys right now regarding the AEW figures. Let me know what you think down below, what you think of all the different news and sort of sources we got going on, talking about the scaling, the price points, and all that stuff. I would really appreciate your feedback down in the comment section, guys. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.